and we back. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Made it through the rain, the rain. I turned nothing into something. No Modelo with the assumptions. Cause I do what I gotta do and I know. Oh, oh, oh. Can't nobody do it like me. All they do is judge me for who I might be. Maybe if they took some time to pick my mind, they see that I'm feeling the limits of life. What is going on, bro? Welcome to another video. Do you guys know where we're at right now? Do you know where we are right now? Julie, tell them where we are. Not only the best city in the world, Austin, Texas. Back in Austin for the day. Julie's got a, an appointment. I got a little appointment of my own. We'll talk about that later. But like, we are back. Not where it began. It began in Boston. But this is where like the YouTube channel took off. You guys know this bridge. Julia, you're blocking the bridge. You guys know this bridge behind me. This is the library, downtown Austin library. Many shots were filmed here back in the day. How does it feel? Uh, it's an emotional. When I was driving and I saw the Austin skyline, like, I wasn't expecting, like, it's cool for drone shots, but I wasn't expecting to have, like, my heart rate went up, my palms got a little sweaty, little mom spaghetti, you guys know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm really happy to be back here today. We're actually parked super illegally. I don't know if you guys could tell, so we got to get out of here. And I'm not sure if any of y'all can guess the first place that we have to go now that we're back in Austin. Think about it for a second, bro. Think about it. Picture something in your head and think about it. Here at Taco Way again, bro. Taco Way is the only way. Be honest, how many of you guys guessed that? Probably like 100%, maybe 99% if this is the first video you've seen. Taco Way is essentially the best tacos in the entire world. So before we devour these tacos, let's have a moment of silence for all the tacos you guys are eating that are not Taco Way. Same go-to order, two of these chicken tacos. Look how amazing that chicken looks. Two breakfast tacos, bacon, egg, potato, and cheese. One complaint is they stopped carrying my, my red habanero sauce, but this green sauce is still pretty fire. Julia, what do you think? Is this still the king of tacos? Still number one. I'll be honest, it's still my number one, but that spot we've been going to in Houston, grab and go, is, is pretty close, pretty close. It's just such like a special, unique city. Like this is this natural green area. This is the dog park we used to go to. Then across the way is this picture perfect skyline, all these brand new buildings. And uh, well, I'm, I'm looking really white right now. Hold on. Oh yeah, how much better does that look right there? It's actually a quick tip for my YouTubers. You wanna have the sun behind you when you're filming outside, not shining bright on your face. But check it out. Julia's at her appointment right now. I'm waiting to check into the hotel. And then my barber, Dave, super cool dude, he's gonna come through the hotel. And I think today's the day that I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna shave my head. In the last video I uploaded, it was my TRT update. I was telling you guys I'm afraid my hair is starting to thin, even though based on the tests I've done, now I think it's actually not thinning. I'm just hyper-focusing on it. But either way, it brings up the question. Like, I'm 31, at some point my hair is gonna start to thin and recede, and I need to make a decision. Should I be proactive about it and start taking finasteride, which is a drug that can help slow it down but could have negative side effects, or do I just let it happen, and then when it starts to happen, I shave my head? The problem is, do I look good with a shaved head? Like, that's the question every guy wants to know, and there's no way to know it unless you shave your head, and there's no reason to put it off, because eventually I'm gonna have to find out, and I don't want it to be too late, so I'm thinking, fuck it, today, let's shave my head. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feel, feeling kind of nervous right now, man. It's like on one hand, I have a high hairline, so maybe it's not gonna look good. On the other hand, my beards came in kind of nicely. I got a strong jawline, so maybe it is gonna look good. Worst case, I mean, it, it takes a few months to grow back. But check this out, I found this Snapchat filter that makes you look bald. And I'm not gonna be bald, I'm gonna leave like a short buzz cut, but if I come out looking like Mr. Clean, man, I'm not gonna be happy. In a, I don't think Julie's gonna be too happy either. Okay, okay. Nice sleek hotel. This is what call this a bohemian vibe i believe i don't know it's very strange you can take your mask off now julia and take out take out check out oh wow it's way too bright check out that view right there bro it's a shame i can't just fly the drone directly through this window that'd be a dope shot <sighs> not bad not bad eh, i'm not gonna get a good sleep i know right it's like i used to get so excited to sleep in hotels i'd be like i'm gonna get the best sleep ever it's gonna be amazing 
And then we, we went and upgraded to that Helix mattress a few months ago, and now nothing else even comes close. And that's why I decided to partner with Helix to be the sponsor of today's video. So check it out, Helix Sleep is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses specifically designed to fit your unique needs. Like everyone's different and Helix knows that, so they made a sleep quiz that matches your unique body type and sleep preferences with the perfect mattress for you. Personally, I'm a back sleeper, even though sometimes I like to sleep on my sides. Julie's a straight side sleeper, and both of us like a medium firm mattress. So based on our results, Helix matched us with their Midnight Lux mattress. We've had it for three months, and it's absolutely blown me away. Like I've been getting the best sleep of my life. I'm someone who tends to overheat and get hot at night. And this, this mattress, like it just helps me maintain a completely comfortable body temperature all night long. And the best part is that Helix delivers the mattress to your door for free. It even comes rolled up in a box so it's easy to set up yourself. And if you're someone who's kind of, you know, not sure if you want to buy a new mattress, they actually offer a 100 night sleep trial, which means you can try the mattress for over three months risk free. If you don't like it, they'll come pick it up and give you your money back. So if you're ready to join me and take your sleep gains to the next level, you can go to helixsleep.com beast or click that first link in description to get up to $200 off your Helix mattress. What are you waiting for, man? Go check it out. What's going on, bro? Uh, welcome back, bro. How you doing? Good to see you, man. Come on in. All right, so I told you I'm going to film this, but what I didn't tell you is we're shaving the whole head today. Oh, shit. I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> We're shaving the whole. You think like well, like a two or three on top of skin fade on the side? Yes, I didn't expect that, but absolutely, we can do that. Yeah, no, I, I, cool. but if I was like, Holy shit. but if you do it and yeah. it, I have a receding hairline, I'm not, I'm not gonna be happy with you. <laughs> now I'm fucking with you, man. Like, he was telling he was telling me that he had a guy who came through his shop. Oh yeah, and like yeah. He, he had a receded hairline. You cut his hair and then you left a bad review after we're like blaming him for the hairline. He sure did. It's like this. Do you understand how hair follicles work? A barber can't like remove the follicle, man. He exactly. just he, he just you had a hairline already that wasn't great, and he exposed it like he, he might do to me today I too. Was like holy shit, okay. All right, Julie, how you feeling about this? Uh, it's either gonna look like shit or it's gonna look really good. So fingers crossed, it looks good. She thought she was like, but what if it doesn't grow back? Okay, I was just mean like, like what if you like, I don't know. She's no worse than that guy who left that review. A <laughs> Yelp. A Yelp. Anyway, I'm not really sure how this is gonna turn out. This is the last time y'all see me with this much hair. Wish me luck, even though by the time you watch this, it's already been decided. Be honest, man. What do you think? I like it a lot. You I like, like it? it a lot. Yeah. Whatever uh, feelings you had about it or whatever before you got it cut, I love it. All right, Julia. People are wondering. What do you think? Uh, it's not as bad as I thought, but I like the curly hair better. All right, Angie. This is Dave's girlfriend here. What do you? You, you saw me briefly before. What do you think? Uh, I like it, but now that she showed the other picture of the curly hair, we'll see you in six months with a lot of curls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys ready for this? I have not seen this yet. Ooh, ooh! I look strange, bro. I look strange, but it's honestly, I think it's a little bit better than I expected. Uh, as a, as a, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna rock this for at least a few months, then reevaluate. I also, I, I, I don't think my hair is thinning, so that's always a good thing. So this is the first time I've used a Tesla supercharger. Normally I charge at home and it's saying it can charge the entire battery in one hour, which is insane. Like at our place, we have the 250 volt, 50 amp charger, which is like the, the highest, you know, residential one you can get. And it still takes like eight or nine hours for a full charge. You guys don't care about that, but it's, it's pretty cool. So this video was originally going to be about like my haircut, which by the way, like it's growing on it's me. It's growing on me it's too, definitely... man. I feel like you guys are going to like it. Maybe not, but. The video's morphing a little bit because we've hinted at it a little bit since we've been in Austin, but behind the scenes, we've really been like, man, like we miss this place. Like it just, it feels, it feels like my city. Like it feels like our home. It feels like we're kind of where we're meant to be. 
Not, I, I feel like a little bit of an emotional roller coaster, though. You know, I love Houston. I love the people. But there's just something about Austin that we so vibe with. Yeah, I just want to be clear. Like, I don't, we don't regret moving to Houston. We love the area we live in. We love our house. The people there, like, are, are amazing. Like, because of that, I think we'll probably end up staying there. But it's just like, I don't know. It pulls on your heartstrings. I don't know. workout complete today is like it's been the day of feels we just worked out in the old home gym and there's a lot of people in there we ended up talking to it just brings back so many memories and by the way speaking of austin speaking of the hometown the, the new collection we dropped on edge a lot of y'all been asking on the back it says austin are you guys going to update that to houston and the answer is no like edge started in austin so we're always going to whenever we use this type of logos we're always going to keep austin as the logo but by the way, tank tops, hoodies, long sleeve t-shirts, we still got some stock left. I've been wearing this stuff nonstop the last like two months and it's not about to change. I'm obsessed, man. That right there is what you call the best chicken parm in the world. We're here at North Italia. And first of all, I feel like this spot is, it's a little bit classy just to go post-workout in your gym clothes, but. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, we're, we're traveling, we make it work. Also, every time I want to go here, because there's also one in Houston, Julia's like, David, we're not going to go back to North Italia again. We can't go there every time. I just wanted to try new things, you know? And then we always try something new, and it's never as good as North Italia. So, ready? There was, there was a lady sitting next to us at the bar who, you know, like probably five or seven too many drinks. <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't watch this because she asked me about how to be, but she thought we were food vloggers, which to me is funny because I feel like I am kind of a food vlogger, but, I, but I'm in a very specific niche. I'm a, a breakfast taco vlogger. You definitely don't look like a food vlogger. <laughs> I know, right? So we're going to wrap up the night with a little nightcap. The, the hotel we're staying at has this rooftop bar. Super dope. I was hoping that we'd be sitting like on a balcony so y'all could see the city behind us, but I guess it's it's, it's winter time, so they just have a bunch of like things covering it up. I have to give a shout out though to my boy who works at the Lion Hotel here down in reception. He's part of Beast Nation, and I, I didn't get his name, but he hooked us up with two drink tokens. So the drinks are on him tonight. If you're watching, brother, I appreciate you. Yeah, thank you so much. So I went with their Il Fico cocktail, it's called. It's like whiskey with like, I don't know, bitters and stuff. My, my classic type of drink. Julie got this one. Mine's like a berry of vodka with some Prosecco. Chin chin. That's what they say in Spain, España. Solid. Yes. So now that we've had kind of like a night to think on it and sleep on it and see it in the mirror again in the morning, i am be honest, I'm super happy with the haircut. The look has grown on me, but it's also like I can wake up and film. I, need to, I don't need to blow dry it and stuff. But the real question is, what does this lady think? Because guys, Julia did not want me to do it. When I told her I was going to do it, she actually got mad at me a little oh, bit. Oh, I wasn't mad. I just was definitely did not want it. I had to explain like, no, it's just going to be a test. But anyway, what do, what do you think? Well, I don't love it. I think it looks okay. He actually really reminds me of that actor from Sons of Anarchy. What's his name, Chris? Chris, Charlie Hanan. Oh, Charlie Hanan, which he's pretty attractive, so I think he pulls it off, but I think I do like his hair longer, better. I'll take it as a compliment. Now, in terms of Austin versus Houston, we've also had a, a night to kind of sleep on that. And here's the analogy I want to use. You know, you break up with a girl, kind of like we broke up with Austin, and then you see her again a few months later, and that first time you see her, it's like there's a spike of emotions, and you're like, I messed up, I want to be with her again, it was so amazing. Like, I think that's what we experienced yesterday. That being said, like, even today, we're looking around, and we're like, dude, this city, it's so fucking dope. That being said, 
we don't regret moving to Houston. We love the suburb we're living in and we wanted to get out of the city with everything going on. We wanted more space. We wanted that backyard for the dogs. Yeah, it's like if we could do it all again, we'd do it all again for those reasons. And it's like what we like about Austin is downtown. It's just the coolest downtown in the world. Downtown Houston, like we don't really we don't care about it. too much, but the suburb we're in, we love it. And realistically to get a nice house, a house as nice as we'd want near downtown Austin, it's like millions and that would not be smart financially for our first house. So here's kind of what we're thinking. We're gonna be in Houston for the next few years, maybe, maybe forever because we really do like it there. And if we left there, to be honest, I'd also be kind of conflicted about that. So what I'm thinking now is maybe we invest in a piece of land near downtown Austin sometime in the next year or two, because then if down the line we wanna move back, we can build a house on that land. And if not, like it's still a good investment. Real estate here is moving up so quickly. So even if we didn't use it, it would still be just a way to like diversify things I'm invested in. Anyway, it's time for us to hit the road back home to Houston and see the brother man and Rolo. They're waiting on us for sure, but if you're still watching this video, I appreciate you, man. Give it a thumbs up. Thank you for coming along this journey with us. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, click subscribe and turn notifications on because I release two new videos every single week and you don't want to miss it. I will talk to all of y'all in the next video. It's not going to be back in Houston. It's not going to be here in Austin. It's going to be somewhere different. So stay tuned for that and stay beastly. Please.